As the sun dipped below the horizon on a crisp evening, a flicker of anticipation danced in the air. It was a moment frozen in time, a memory etched into the minds of those fortunate enough to have experienced it. The year was 1952, and a curious glow emanated from the heart of every living room where a television set flickered to life. It was the first encounter with Death Valley Days, a series that would forever etch its mark on the tapestry of entertainment history. Do you remember that first glimpse? The crackling excitement as the show's opening credits painted the screen with a blend of mystery and intrigue. For some, it was a window into a world unknown, the Wild West brought to life in a way that had never been witnessed before. And for others, it was a beloved ritual, a weekly voyage into the rugged landscapes and untamed adventures of yesteryear. Perhaps you recall the characters, larger than life yet grounded in the realities of a bygone era. Their tales unfolded like precious treasures, woven with threads of courage, resilience, and the undying spirit of exploration. From the dusty trails of Death Valley to the echoing canyons, each episode breathed life into a piece of history that had once remained hidden in the annals of time. As the episodes unfolded, they carried us on a journey through the triumphs and tribulations of pioneers, prospectors, and dreamers. From heartwarming tales of camaraderie to heart-stopping showdowns beneath the scorching sun, Death Valley Days was more than a show. It was a gateway to a realm where the past converged with the present, igniting our imagination and awakening a hunger for the stories that shaped our world. And now, as we stand at the crossroads of nostalgia and discovery, it's time to delve into the rich tapestry of facts and anecdotes that weave together the story of Death Valley Days. From the show's inception to the indelible impact it left on popular culture, we embark on a journey of exploration, just as those pioneers did so many decades ago. So, join me as we unravel the secrets, relive the moments, and pay homage to the legacy of Death Valley Days. From the screen to the sands of time, the tales are ready to be retold, and the past is waiting to be rediscovered. U.S. Borax Remarkable Legacy, honoring Death Valley Day's unsung sponsorship in the golden age of television. The 1952 series Death Valley Days emerged as a revered Western anthology, painting vivid tales of pioneers and prospectors. Amid its illustrious journey, an often overlooked chapter resonates, the sponsorship bestowed upon the show by the U.S. Borax and Chemical Corporation. 1970 witnessed a momentous juncture when U.S. Borax received the Special Trustees Award at the Western Heritage Awards Ceremony. The accolade lauded the corporation's unswerving support for Death Valley Days, an emblematic series recounting narratives of grit and determination. With a nod to history, this recognition underscores the invaluable contributions of corporate patrons to artistic ventures. U.S. Borax's endorsement of Death Valley Days marked more than just financial backing. It crystallized a union of heritage and entertainment, narrating the past while forging the future. As the applause echoed on that stage in 1970, it was a testament not only to the show's timeless narratives, but also to the enduring partnership that fueled its creation. Beyond the glitz and glamour, the legacy of Death Valley Days resonates as a tapestry woven by collaboration, actors, writers, and, yes, sponsors. Amid the tales of grit and gold, the indelible mark of U.S. Borax stands as a beacon of how corporate engagement can bolster the arts. And so, in the annals of television history, let us remember not just the stories of the untamed West, but also the unsung champions who lent their support, enriching our cultural tapestry. The U.S. Borax and Chemical Corporation, emblematic of this synergy, continues to remind us that true pioneers are those who breathe life into tales, as well as those who help bring them to light. In 1964, the renowned TV series Death Valley Days took on a new identity as it repackaged past episodes under the title The Pioneers, a move that aimed to captivate audiences with tales of frontier courage. The charismatic Will Rogers Jr. assumed the role of host, infusing the show with his own blend of charm and wit. This transformation marked a shift in the show's legacy, but it was far from the only evolution. Death Valley Days, which first graced screens in 1952, embarked on a visual journey as vivid as the landscapes it depicted. The initial 11 seasons unfolded in the stark beauty of black and white cinematography, before embracing the vibrant hues of Technicolor for its final seven seasons. Utah's sweeping vistas became the backdrop for these captivating stories, transporting viewers into the heart of the American West. 
Yet, the show's connections ran deeper than its scenic splendor. A music score that resonated through the first four seasons echoed with a familiar note. The very same score that graced the living Bible. A coincidental twist that tied Stanley Andrews, the show's host, to both series' debuts. In the realm of television history, Death Valley Days etched its own chapter, one of reinvention and resonance. From the desert landscapes to the melodies that lingered, the show's legacy continues to echo in the annals of entertainment. Stanley Andrews, the old ranger who ruled Death Valley Days in the vast expanse of television's early days, one figure stood as a steadfast guide through the rugged landscapes of the American frontier. Stanley Andrews, a commanding presence with his distinctive voice and weathered demeanor, assumed the mantle of the old ranger in the 1952 TV series Death Valley Days. For 12 gripping seasons, Andrews charmed audiences with his tales of hardship and triumph before bidding adieu in 1964. Andrew's portrayal etched a lasting legacy, transforming him into the emblematic face of the show. His retirement marked a turning point, as the rugged Pathfinder was succeeded by other narrators, each endeavoring to fill his considerable boots. Death Valley Days, a masterclass in storytelling, found its footing under Andrew's capable guidance. The show navigated through an array of dramatic chronicles drawn from the annals of American history. From gold rushes to untamed wilderness, each episode unfurled like a chapter from the past, a testament to the rugged resilience that defined an era. But the old ranger's impact extended beyond the small screen. The governors of three states recognized the show's cultural contributions, bestowing it with commendations that echoed across the land. The University of Washington and historical societies, including the native daughters of the Golden West, honored its portrayal of history's intricacies. A curious parallel threads through television history, linking Death Valley Days to another renowned show. It stands as one of only two series to be hosted by a future U.S. president. The Apprentice, helmed by Donald Trump, occupies the other end of this intriguing spectrum. As the curtain fell on Stanley Andrews' tenure, the old ranger's voice echoed in the annals of television history, leaving an indelible mark on the genre he guided through the rugged frontiers of the past. With his departure, Death Valley Days ventured forth, embracing new narrators and tales, but forever retaining the legacy of the old ranger who once roamed its vast landscapes. Ronald Reagan's transition from screen to politics, a glimpse into Death Valley Days in the realm of mid-20th century television. The 1952 series Death Valley Days stands as an emblem of the Wild West's allure, weaving tales of grit and adventure. However, beneath its rugged exterior lies a remarkable piece of history, Ronald Reagan's final foray into acting before his political ascendancy. As the show's inaugural host, Stanley Andrews portrayed the seasoned ranger for 12 seasons, nurturing an enduring connection with viewers until his 1964 retirement. It was then that Reagan, a future president of the United States, stepped into the spotlight. His role as the host from 1964 to 1965 marked the culmination of his acting career, soon to be eclipsed by his indelible impact on the nation's political landscape. Reagan's tenure on Death Valley Days was a pivotal juncture, a symbolic passing of the torch from Hollywood to Washington. DC his transition from a screen persona to a political figurehead mirrored the show's tales of transformation and resilience. The desert vistas and rugged narratives found in the show's episodes seemed to mirror Reagan's journey, preparing him for the challenges of governing a nation. In hindsight, Death Valley Days serves as more than a mere anthology of Western tales. It encapsulates a moment when entertainment and politics converged, setting the stage for one of the most influential leaders of the 20th century. As the final curtain closed on Reagan's acting career, a new chapter in his life beckoned, one that would shape the course of history far beyond the confines of the silver screen. In 1970, the U.S. Borax and Chemical Corporation garnered a distinguished accolade during the Western Heritage Awards. Recognized with a special trustees award, the corporation's notable sponsorship of the acclaimed 1952 TV series Death Valley Days was celebrated. This captivating show, which brought to life the tales of the Wild West, had a unique blend of history and entertainment. The U.S. Borax and Chemical Corporation's support not only fueled the show's success, but also contributed to the preservation of the Western heritage on screen. 
The Western Heritage Awards, a testament to the show's cultural significance, bestowed this honor upon the corporation for its pivotal role in the legacy of Death Valley Days. The synergy between the corporation's sponsorship and the series' thematic focus created a remarkable connection. Death Valley Days transported viewers to a bygone hero of pioneers, outlaws, and adventurers, painting a vivid portrait of the American frontier. The recognition bestowed upon the U.S. Borax and Chemical Corporation underscored the impact of their support in bringing these stories to a wider audience. The Special Trustees Award became a symbol of the show's enduring influence and the corporation's instrumental contribution. Interestingly, the music score that accompanied the first four seasons of Death Valley Days held an unexpected connection. This iconic score was shared with The Living Bible, a separate production that added an intriguing layer of coincidence to the series. Notably, Stanley Andrews, a prominent figure in Death Valley Days, also made an appearance in the inaugural episode of The Living Bible, forging an unanticipated link between the two shows. As we reflect on the storied history of Death Valley Days and its vital partnership with the U.S. Borax and Chemical Corporation, it becomes evident that the show's impact reached far beyond the small screen. The Western Heritage Awards bestowed a well-deserved acknowledgement, honoring the corporation's role in preserving and celebrating the rich tapestry of the American West through this beloved television series. As we bid adieu to our exploration of the captivating 1952 television series, Death Valley Days, we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of nostalgia and reverie. Like the golden sands of the desert that witnessed the passage of time, this remarkable show has etched its tales upon the annals of our shared cultural tapestry. As the curtain falls on the dusty trails and spirited characters, we are left with an invitation to journey into the recesses of our own memories. Did you find yourself ensnared by the enigmatic narratives that unfolded under the vast expanse of the Death Valley sky? Were you transfixed by the resilience of pioneers as they navigated the challenges of the untamed frontier? Perhaps you were drawn to the flickering screen, weaving your own stories amidst the shadows of those captivating episodes. In this era of digital splendor, the echoes of Death Valley days resonate still, reminding us of a simpler time when television was a portal to another world, a world that now rests within the treasured corners of our hearts. We extend an invitation to you, dear reader, to unfurl the scroll of your own memories and share the fragments that Death Valley days has left behind. What moments remain etched in your mind? What characters ignited your imagination? Your reflections hold the power to breathe life into the legacy of this timeless series. As we wrap our journey through time, we want to express our heartfelt gratitude for joining us on this voyage. Your time, your thoughts, and your connection to Death Valley Days are woven into the very fabric of its enduring narrative. So, as we embark on new horizons, let us carry with us the spirit of exploration and the warmth of reminiscence that Death Valley Days imparts. And in the whispered winds of memory, may its tales continue to flourish, transcending the bounds of time. Thank you, kind traveler of tales, for indulging in this moment of reflection. Your insights are precious gems that enrich the crown of our shared experience. Until we meet again on the crossroads of another enthralling narrative.